space is infinitely huge, interesting, and above all, extremely scary. Continuous advancement in science and technology has shown us much about faraway skies. To be specific, that it's chilly, dark, and tantalizingly baffling up there. It's more alarming than hell. In space, there's no room for error. Even the slightest mistake will kill you. In 1970, 30% of people who went into space died. If you're searching for some mind-blowing facts about space, you've come to the perfect spot. In the meantime, join us as we count down 10 truly terrifying facts about the horror film that is our universe. Number 10. Astronauts drink recycled urine and sweat. Disturbing or what? It's not a joke. Well, it's true. Water is very limited in space. It's not easy to transport everything to the space station. For a person to survive in space for a year, they have to drink about 730 liters of their recycled sweat and urine. It usually takes about 8 to 10 days to process water on the space station. According to Lane Carter, the manager of the ISS water system, the ISS gathers moisture from breath and sweat, pee from individuals and research animals, and water from sinks and showers to keep the station hydrated. Quote, it possesses a flavor like filtered water, as long as you can mentally move beyond the point that it's reused pee and condensate that comes out of the air. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. Number 9. Meteors can strike Earth with no warning. Envision cruising along in your Honda or Chevy GUV, a galactic utility vehicle, shooting sound waves on the old satellite, when unexpectedly, out of the blue, blam, you're sucker punched by an immense stone. Not exclusively is your protection rate going to soar, yet the closest space side help is billions of miles away. Bummer. Even though the situation may appear to be a science fiction bad dream, a comparable event happened on planet Earth in 2013, after a shooting star detonated over the Ural Mountains in Russia. When the residue settled, more than 400 individuals had been harmed, underscoring the upsetting reality that falling flotsam and jetsam can strike all of a sudden. That's right, they can simply fall at any second, raining down on Earth and causing huge demolition and we probably won't know until it's too late. Sweet dreams. Number eight, space has a smell. You've probably heard that space has a smell, maybe like burnt steak or some type of barbecue. Well, that's true. We consider space a void, black as night, dead silent and without air. A spot like that couldn't possibly have a smell, couldn't it? Notably, space has a particular scent. While we can't smell anything in space, because anybody attempting to do so would immediately pass on, what we can smell are the things that have returned from space. Here are some of the ways the smell of space has been described by people who've been there. Gunpowder, seared steak, hot metal, welding fumes, carries a distinct odor of ozone, a faint acrid smell, sulfurous, and some sort of brimstone. Quote, just imagine sweaty feet and stale body odor. Mix that odor with nail polish remover and gasoline, and you get close. Number seven, height of astronauts. Space explorers can develop roughly two inches or five centimeters in height when in space. It's due to the disks of the spinal column. On Earth, the plates are marginally compressed due to gravity. In space, that pressure's not present, making the plates grow. The outcome? The spine lengthens, and the space traveler is taller. Anyhow, this additional stature is lost once returning to the Earth's environment and being exposed to the Earth's gravity once again. Number 6. Zombie Stars Just when you figure we can't make any more zombie movies, TV shows, or books about bloodsuckers and the undead, the Science Network has gotten the quarrel together with Zombie Stars. Really? What's next, Brainiacs of Frankenplanet? Don't worry about it. As one would figure, a zombie star is something that won't die, like ever. 
The massive blast from a supernova ordinarily sparkles brilliantly for some time before the withering star is crushed into space dust. That is, except if for reasons that presently can't seem to be resolved, the star figures out how to keep itself away from death. Adding to the repulsiveness appears, the zombie star can turn into a vampire star by sucking fuel and vitality from a close by star to resuscitate itself. The most renowned zombie, for researchers at any rate, is known as IPTF 14 HLS. The star originally showed up in 1954 and was thought to have kicked the bucket over 50 years prior. Yet a disclosure in 2014 uncovered its as yet bursting at the seams with no plans of resigning. As per the eminent space expert, Yair Arkavi, a NASA Einstein postdoctoral fellow at the University of California, Santa Barbara, UCBS, and the Las Cumbres Observatory, the star's odd conduct is, quote, the greatest riddle I've ever experienced. <laughs> Yowzer! If he's confused people, everything we can do is locking the ways to the space station and trust in the best. Number five, solar flares. Our sun is radiant, a dazzling star that gives warmth, light, and the important temperature for valuable life to exist. It's likewise consistently expanding and will sometime or another crush Earth, burning our dear planet like a marshmallow that's been left excessively long around an open air fire. Luckily, that won't occur for billions of years. However, meanwhile, sun powered flares are fit for delivering colossal harm with next to zero notice. A solar flare is a vicious eruption that happens when stored energy on the sun is abruptly released. This creates another of those absurd, more smoking than hell numbers, discharging a glimmer of radiation over the electromagnetic range. Researchers characterize solar flares as per their splendor and comparable to X-beam frequencies. The biggest of classifications, X-class flares, are enormous, troublesome events that can seriously harm satellites, crash power matrices, and essentially consign all savvy innovation to inept bits of scrap. Number four, Fermi's paradox. The hypothesis is known as Fermi's paradox, which sets how the high probability of extraterrestrial life is opposing to the absence of fact-based, certifiable proof supporting it. Normally, this way of thinking limits the heap of cases made by people who have supposedly seen UFOs or experienced outsider experiences. Also wonders, for example, crop circles and cargo cult theory. While it's difficult to contend with a skillful of Fermi stature, particularly with our own constrained reptilian brains, we're left thinking about whether it's all the more terrifying that we're isolated or that unfriendly living things are holding on to us to eat us like a great white shark crunching seal snacks. In any case, it's ideal to keep that previously mentioned light on around at night. Number three, space junk. Since the beginning of the space race, man-made objects have been accumulating in what has been aptly named orbital flotsam and jetsam, or debris. But that's being excessively kind. We might as well call it simply what it is, space garbage. A wide range of disposed litter presently incorporates a great many middle parts, cameras, spent rocket motors, and even a total 1958 US satellite, the Vanguard 1, that is, as of now, the most established counterfeit hunk of metal still in the circle. In only one single activity from 2007, China wrecked a decommissioned climate satellite during one of its weapon tests, crushing the object into more than 150,000 pieces. Be that as it may, any endeavors to tidy up spiraling chaos could introduce considerably more issues as far as national security, or potentially bring about clashes over regional rights. To put it plainly, we're damned. Number two, today's subscriber pick, Milky Way Galaxy is being sucked away. And with all of that, it's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by one of our subscribers. So if you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it on over to us. We might even feature it on a future video. As for now, don't forget to comment and tell us what you think about the image. As of late, space experts took the first picture ever of a black hole 
using the Event Horizon Telescope, a system of eight connected telescopes far and wide. Albeit, numerous inquiries, despite everything, stay unanswered. Black holes are described by how they influence close-by flotsam and jetsam, stars and cosmic systems. They're normally created out of the passing of an enormous star, called a supernova, and more on that later. In contrast to a planet or star, a black hole doesn't have a surface, yet rather possesses an area where the matter has fallen in on itself. The measure of concentrated mass is with the end goal that nothing can get away from its gravitational force, not even light, and unquestionably not a space explorer who makes an awful off-base turn while lost in space. Black holes exist in a wide range of sizes, and like tornadoes, they will in general move around at high speeds, leaving a path of annihilation afterward. Indeed, even a little one in our solar system would be disastrous, removing planets from the circle and tearing the sun to shreds. Although intrepid explorers will be enticed to visit these dead spaces, nothing so far has ever survived an outing to a black hole. Number one. We're really, really small. Although Mother Earth gives off an impression of being a massive sphere of unlimited seas and unlimited streets, we're pretty diminutive contrasted with different planets. And how little exactly? As far as relative scale, Jupiter is 2.5 times bigger than the remainder of the planets in the solar system combined. In any case, on the off chance that you truly need to feel little, look no further than our sun. You know, that large, red-hot, 10,000-degree inferno 93 million miles away? The sun's distance across is multiple times greater than the stone we call home, and is huge to such an extent that 1,300,000 planet Earths could fit inside it. While the iridescent ball has all the earmarks of being the biggest star in the sky, that's simply because it's the nearest. The number one biggest star known to man is the gigantic UY Scuti, a red supergiant with a sweep around multiple times bigger than our sun. Be that as it may, don't give up, Earthlings. At any rate, you now realize how a ladybug feels, sticking to a flimsy piece of turf in a wide, wide world. And with all of that, that's the end of today's list. We certainly hope you like our video. And if you did, leave us a comment down below, leave us a thumbs up, and click that bell notification button so you never miss any of our updates. And as always, thanks for watching.